Hello everyone, I'm Rithi Kauri from Management Bliss channel. In this video, we will cover how to create filters by Epic. But first of all, what are filters? Filter in Jira is just a saved set of search criteria that can be used to narrow down a list of issues. In simple language, filters are just saved searches. You search for a particular issues quite often, then you can save that search and give it a name. Now these filters can be used in a lot of places like dashboards or reporting or just for retrieving a particular information. Now Epic in Agile is a large piece of work that can be broken down into smaller chunks of work and these can be either stories, tasks, etc. Okay, so let's move ahead. Now I am into the backlog of my project and here we can see that on the backlog we have an option to filter our issues based on the epics and currently I have clicked on this particular drop down. It's showing me all the different epics and I can select one of them and get my issues which are associated with that particular epic. For example, let's click here. So I've clicked conditions and allergies management epic and I'm getting these three issues over here. Fine. Now let's see how to create specifically this filter. For that, go to the top menu. Here we can find filters. Click on the filters drop down and I'll click on view all filters. We have a create filter button on the right hand side. I'll just click it. And here is the place where we can write our filters. So to keep things simple, I'll start with project name. So project equals to so as soon as you type something Jira will provide you automatic suggestions which you can use and epic so an easier option is to use an epic link and as soon as you write equals and press space you will get the names of all the different epics which are there in your project which you can use so i'll select this conditions and allergies management epic and as soon as i have selected it jira has taken the issue key for that epic and now let's search it and yeah we have got these issues over here and we can see that there are six issues but in the backlog we were able to see only three that is because the backlog was showing only those issues which were not closed which were still active and here it's showing all the issues to us so let's just search for the status also let's just say that status not in done that is apart from done this filter should show all the issues which are under this particular epic so let's give search and now we have those three filtered issues over here now we can save this filter so i've provided a genuine name like epic conditions and allergies issues filter and you should provide a nice description so that whosoever is looking into that filter he or she should know that what this filter is all about. Provide the right permissions. So if you keep it private, only you will be able to view it. But if you want others as well in your organization or a group or a specific set of people to view this particular filter, then you have to provide that information. So let's say I want everyone in my organization to view that filter. Okay, then if you just want yourself to edit that filter, then you can keep it as private. Press the add button. Unless you press the add button, the filter permission will not be saved. Now press save. Yep, so the filter has been created for us.
Now we created this filter with the help of epic link. We did so in order to avoid mistakes. So let's see how to create a filter using epic name. So what we can do over here is instead of epic link, we will say epic name equals to provide the name of your epic over here. For that, I'll go to my backlog first. And here in the backlog, I wanted to search with the help of conditions and allergies management epic. Let's open this epic. Okay, so we have this epic opened. So I'm just copying the text from here. And let's go back to the filter and provide the copy text and then hit a search. Now what I can see is that there are no issues found matching your search. And why is so? Because actually we haven't provided the epic name, but we have provided the summary of that epic. If you are creating a filter by epic name, then do not copy the epic name from here. It is same in the summary most of the times, but a lot of times it's different. So on the right hand side in the details panel, we can find the name of the epic. And from here, we have to copy the name of the epic. And again, I'm going back to my filter. And this time I am adding the right epic name over here and hit a search. By searching with epic name, we just got the epic itself. And in the epic, we can see the child issues associated with it, but we have not got the actual issues associated with it. So that is the difference. When you create a filter with epic name, it will give you the epic itself in the result. But if you create a filter using epic link, then it will give all the issues that are linked to that particular epic. And now if you want to save this filter as well, the process is same that let's not change our epic condition and allergies issues filter. What I'll do is I'll create a new filter instead. View all filters in a new tab. Create a filter and hit a search to verify. And yeah, now we can save this filter, provide it with a valid name and then save it. So that was all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Bye for now.